good life path 33 okay so it feels good to be at the last life path now listen y'all i'm about to start really collecting data and getting into the energy of 33 i know i said i would have your life path video up a week and a half ago but i do with what my energy is leading me to do i do with what i'm capable of doing at the moment and when it's time for me to do your video just know that shit is gonna pop okay now life path 33 what is holding you back in 2022 from being on path and in alignment with your purpose baby i feel like you already know what i'm about to say procrastination life path 33 listen procrastination is a mind game like on everything i know because i'm a procrastinator and i'm learning on not to do that like honestly i don't even claim that shit no more sometimes i just get distracted okay but listen there's always a deeper meaning behind the procrastination if you if you need to get something done no matter what it is and you've been avoiding doing that task it's really less about doing that task and maybe more about the feelings that surface when you get that task done um, or the feelings that it brings to you when you do it. Like one thing that I heavily procrastinate on is if I have to like make calls or like go somewhere to resolve something in person, I'm going to procrastinate doing that because I hate talking on the phone to people that I don't know. I hate when I have to call a business, wait on hold, talk to somebody, all that, whatever that is, I'm going to procrastinate doing it because I just don't enjoy doing it. And that's okay. I understand that about myself, but those things still need to get done. And I promise you 10 out of 10 times when you get the task done, you feel so good. And it usually ain't even that serious in the first place for you to have been putting it off for weeks and weeks. This is how procrastination is blocking you, Life Path 33. Listen to me. You have a higher purpose. You do not have time to fuck around with being unintentional or disingenuous about your future. Stop procrastinating on stuff. The quicker you get it done, the quicker it will be over with. And once you realize what it is that is making you procrastinate, you can resolve that. And I promise you, I promise you, you won't procrastinate doing it no more. Listen to me. I don't know. I low key feel like sometimes I like being, well, no, no, for sure. I like to be in darker energy. I like to be in my shadow self. It feels comfortable to me because I was there for so long. And now I'm like making my way to the light. You know what I'm saying? I'm really allowing my inner person to come out and to be free and be healed. But there's just, you know, certain things that I procrastinate on doing because it's uncomfortable to my shadow, like making content for YouTube. I'll, if I have a schedule and I'm sticking to that schedule, I'm being consistent and saying like, oh, I'm going to drop, you know, at least three times a week. And I know that on Wednesdays I drop. Why am I making a video on Wednesday instead of making it on Tuesday or Monday? I had the time. I had the energy. What about it was keeping me from procrastinating? I had to dig deep in within myself and I realized that when it comes to work tasks and things like that, I'll be procrastinating because I didn't feel like I deserved it or I didn't feel like I was capable of accomplishing what it was that I was setting out to do. So if I'm setting out to have 100K subscribers and I tell myself, girl, post three times a week, eventually your channel will start growing. And then every time it comes down to me making the content, I get all blah, blah, blah. I need to figure out what in the past happened to me that is making me feel so discouraged to create this content. And honestly, it was because I wasn't getting the attention I felt like I deserved. And then I had to tame my ego and realize, well, bitch, what are you doing this for? Are you doing it for other people? Are you doing it for clout? Are you doing this to blow up? Yes to all those things. But when it comes to my spirit, when it comes to my purpose, the reason I'm doing this is to help other people. 
and if only two people watch this video if 10 people watch this video or if 100k people watch this video i need to be at peace and fulfilled knowing that i'm in my purpose by just spreading the knowledge and the people that need to hear it will hear it and i had to take for a break from instagram just because of that i was like where's my likes and follows why is nobody supporting me mm -hmm. i deserve all this support i've been putting in all this whole work and you know it's not about that I don't know if you can relate to that or not. You know what it is that you're procrastinating on and it's up to you to do that shadow work to figure out the deeper meaning behind that. I am gonna pull a Moonology card and this is just to get us into a specifics of, um, you know, which sign and which house in your chart that this blockage is being created in, okay? Thank you for this one card, please. Shuffle again. Spirit says to be open to your schedule being different when you are procrastinating. Do the hard things first, get them out the way, and then that way you can go on enjoying and taking your time doing the things that you do enjoy. Just get the hard shit done. Okay. So 33, they said flip it. New moon in Scorpio, okay? New moon. So in a new moon, this is all about, new moon is all about creation and setting intentions, okay? You have to set the intention that you're going to get things done and follow through with it. Look into your chart, see which house that you have Scorpio on. And if you don't have Scorpio in any of your houses, then you wanna look at the house ruled by Scorpio and look into that and see what's going on with your placements, what house that is and how that's affecting your area. This is where the procrastination is affecting you the most. And on this card, new moon in Scorpio, it says work through your fears, okay? Spirit says that it is your fear that is causing you to procrastinate. What are you scared of? Are you scared of popping off? Are you scared of being happy? Um, you know what I'm saying? Are you scared of receiving love? The new moon is all about the energy of receiving. So it's definitely something that is being offered to you that maybe you feel like you don't deserve to have. So that's why you're procrastinating with taking the steps that it takes to get it. Do that root chakra healing 33 and allow yourself to find comfort, to figure out safety and security within yourself so that you can release a lot of these fears. In 2022, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for growth for you surrounding your fears. But my favorite thing to say is be scared and do it anyway. I hope that this video was very good for you and it really gave you something now, to think. Now, if you would like an extended reading, a detailed reading, go ahead and book with me at fullmoonbeauties.com and join me every Monday for meditation class at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.